I have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, the blood of my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity, my sin is ever before me, against the only of my sin, and on the sea for before thee. But thou mightest be justified, and thy words and prevail, not judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and the sins of my mother bear me. For behold, I was full of truth, the hidden and secret things, to the wisdom of the may manifest in the mean. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made white in the snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness to bones, to be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, about a renewed right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, with a governing spirit establish me. I shall teach thee unscrutulous thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For thou hast desired sacrifice, I give it with over an offering, so I shall not be pleased. A sacrifice in a God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, a humble God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and a good pleasure on the side, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shall they be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the belief of an offering, since they offer the looks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When thou dost ascend unto death, O life immortal, didst thou slay Hades with the lightning of thy divinity? When thou dost also raise the dead out of the nethermost depths, saw the powers of the heavens cried out, O life giver, Christ our God, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, in these latter times, a host of martyrs newly crowned with grace, rejoice in heaven, glorified with diverse forms of martyrdom, for having censured the madness of godless foes, they gain the laurels of triumph and victory, hence they fervently entreat Christ for us, unceasingly to grant great mercy unto us who sing their praise. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen, with the hour to true vine that have blossomed forth for us the fruit of life, they do we supplicate and intercede or lady together with the apostles and all the saints that are souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way, our God is the God of salvation. He is polite to us, but oh, for the God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, mercy in us, for the God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, mercy in us, for the God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. All holy trinity of mercy in us, to be gracious in our sins, Master. Pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visiting heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and unto the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and of unto the ages of ages. Amen. After the passion, the women came unto the tomb to anoint thy body, O Christ, God, and they saw angels and gave in the grave and stood in awe, for they heard their voice proclaiming that the Lord is risen, granting great mercy unto the world. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of the love is the righteousness, mercy, and sinners who call us all to salvation to the promise of good things to come. Receive a lot of prayers through this hour and guide our life for second amendment. Sanctify our souls. Make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, are guided and guard over their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge and thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for found upon the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than a cherubim, beyond compare, more glorious than seraphim, be without corruption, give us with the God, the word, the very thing, the Lord, we magnify in the name of the Lord, Master Black. O Sovereign Master, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, Thou, Holy Spirit, one God, had one power, have mercy, me, sinner. By the judgment of your Son, O save me, then, a worthy servant. For blessed art thou unto the age of age. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ, the King and our God. 
O God, in any save me in any strength through thou judge me, O God, hearken into my prayer, give ear into the words of my mouth, for strangers have risen up against me, mighty men have sought my soul, and not set God before themselves, for we hold God, help me, the Lord is the protector of my soul, he'll bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth, willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee, I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good, for out of every affliction thou shalt deliver me, my eyes look down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, into my prayer, and disdain my supplication, and attend to me, and hear me, I was grieved in my meditation, I was troubled with the voice of the enemy, of the oppression of the sinner, because they have turned iniquity upon me, and wrath for the angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and a terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling are come upon me, and darkness have covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? And I'll, I now will fly and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off, and I dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God that saveth me from faint heartedness and from tempest. Plunge them at the depths of the Lord, and divide their tongues, where I have seen iniquity and gainsaying in the city. Day and night they go round about her, upon her walls, iniquity and toil, and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if mine enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it, and if he that had hated me had spoken both words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou would was a man of like soul with me, my guide, my familiar friend, thou who together with me to speak to my repasts. In the house of God I walk with thee in oneness of mind, that death come upon such ones, and let her go down in the life in the Hades. For wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them, as for me and the God of I cried, and the Lord hearken unto me, even morning and noonday, when I tell of it, and I will bear it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw nigh unto me, for they are among many who are with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages, for to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand in retribution, and they have defiled his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts are convened. Their words are smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken, but thou, God, shall bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out after days. But as for me, Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper, my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will they overshadow thee, and under his wings shall thou have hope. With his shield will this truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow of the flight by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon in the day. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but in thee shall not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope. Thou mayest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no spirit shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, thus at any time they'll dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the ass and basilisk shall thou tread, and I shall trample upon the lion and dragon, for he has set his hope on me, and I will, will deliver him, and I will, I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto the age of the ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When thou didst ascend unto death, O life immortal, didst thou slay Hades with the lightning of thy divinity? When thou didst also raise the dead out of the nethermost depths, all the powers of the heavens cried out, O life giver Christ our God, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In these latter times, the host of martyrs, newly crowned with grace, rejoiceth in heaven, glorified with diverse forms of martyrdom, for having centered the madness of godless foes, they gain the laurels of triumph and victory, and stay fervently entreat Christ for us, and ceasingly to grant great mercy unto us who sing their praise. Both now and over unto the ages of ages of men, seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, that we see to when born of thee, O Virgin Sarah, took us for the supplication of a mother, who much to win the master's favor, disdain of the prayers of sinners, most august one, for merciful is he, mighty to save he that deigned to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious in our sins, for thy name's sake, he spill I to despot of, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now live unto you, to the beauty of men. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now live unto you, to the beauty of men. Amen. <clears throat> After the passion, the women came unto the tomb to anoint thy body, O Christ God. They saw angels in the grave, and stood in awe, for they heard their voice proclaiming that the Lord is risen, granting great mercy unto the world. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of we call us all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers to the sour and guide our lives towards our commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, 
Purify your intentions and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with the holy angels, the guiding and guarded by their array. We may attain to the unity, the faith, and the knowledge of the unimportable glory. From blessed art thou, and the ages of ages, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and for an unto the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than a terrible and beyond compare, more glorious than a seraph from thee, with our production, give us forth to God the word, the very theotokos, the 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 Amen. O God, o, Lord. Master, o God and Lord of hosts, make of all creation, who in the tender compassion of thine faithful mercy did send down the number of Son of Lord Jesus Christ, our, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross, to stir up the handwriting of our sins, and thereby this triumph of the principalities and parts of darkness. Do thou thyself, a man for any mass, accept also from our sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression. And from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts unto which the thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee, and being guided by thy light. As we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, may send up us in praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father, which will begin with the only begotten Son, and all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever to the age of ages. Amen. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and for now, and to the ages of men. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master of Love. He that rose from the dead, Christ our true God, by the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, of the Holy Glorious Prophet, Forerunner, and Baptist John, of our Holy Patron, John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of all the Holy New Martyrs of Russia, whose synthesis we celebrate. And of the Holy Apostle Timothy, the disciple of St. Paul, whose memory we keep of all the saints, may have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the friend of man. The prayers of the fathers of Jesus Christ, who God have mercy on us and save us. The prayers of the Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, who God have mercy on us and save us. Axion esti nos alithos, dini per theonim nintriada, Anarchon patera ke pandurgon sin anarchon logon proeonon ek tu patros arestos tektenda ke to agion pne. Sacronos eco revomenon. It is to limit to glorify thee, O God, the word, the God of all things. Hence to him before whom the Cherubim stand with fear and trembling, whom the heavens host glorify, and who on the third day rose from the tomb and let us with fear give glory to the life giver Christ. Himnisum and pandes theo prepos asmas in entheis ton patera Ketonion ke pnematothion trisipostaton kratos tin mian vasilian ke kiriotita whom all the earth born free and the heavenly host glorify who is truly worshipped by all oneness 
essence of three Oh, right. 
For the venerable presbytery, the diaconate, and Christ, for the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this sacred monastery, this town, for every city, town, and countryside, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For them that travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and her Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Psychi mutan kiria ne vlogi to si kiria e vlogi psychi mutan kiria ke panda ta endos muto ono mato agi onaptu vlogi psychi mutan kiria ne ke mi e pilanta nu pas asta sanda budosi saftu to ne vila te vanda pas asta sano mi asu Toni o menon pasas tas nosusu. Ton litru menon ekthoras in zoi in su. Ton Stefanun da sen eleike iktirmi. Ton envi blonda enagathis tin epithimi an su. Anakenistis et eosa et uine otisu. Pion eleimasinas o kirios. 
que crima pae siti sadikumeni. Ek nori seta sodus aftu to moisi, tisis Israel ta thelimat aftu. Ikir mon kele imon o kirios, makroithimos ke polieleos, u kistelos orgistisete, u deis ton eona mini. Τα σανομία σιμών επίσενη μην. Ούτε κατά τα σαμαρτία σιμών ανταπέδο και μην. Ότι κατά το ύψο του ουρανού από τι γη εγκρατέωσε κύριο το έλεο αυτού. Επί του φοβουμένου αυτού. Καθώ ο ναπέχου είναι ανατολέ από δυσμόν. Εμάκρινε να φημών τα σανομία σημών. Καθώ εσύ κτήρι πατήριου, ο κτήρι σε κύριο του φοβουμένου αυτών. Ότι αυτό έγνω το πλάσμα ημών. Εμνήστη ότι χούσε με. Άνθρωπο ω η χόρτο σε ημέρε αυτού. Ω η άνθο του αγρού ούτω εξανθήσει. Ότι πνεύμα δίλεθεν εν αυτό και όχι πάρηξη και ούκ επιγνώσε τέτοι των τόπων αυτού. Ο δε έλεος του Κυρίου από του αιώνος και έως του αιώνος επί τους φοβουμένους αυτών. Κι δικαιοσύνη αυτού επί ίσιον της φυλάσσουσι την διαθήκην αυτού και με μνημένη στον εντολόν αυτού του πείσε αυτά. Κύριος εν το ουρανό, η τίμα σε τον θρόνον αυτού και η βασιλεία αυτού πάντων δεσπόζει. Ευλογείτε τον Κύριον πάντες οι άγγελοι αυτού, δυνατοί σχυπιούνται στον λόγον αυτού, του ακούσε τις φωνής των λόγων αυτού. Ευλογείτε τον Κύριον πάσε δυνάμεις αυτού, λειτουργεί αυτού υπιούνται στο θέλημα αυτού. Ευλογείτε τον Κύριον πάντα τα έργα αυτού, εν παντή τόπο της δεσποτείας αυτού, ευλόγη ψυχή μου τον Κύριο. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι και νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Ευλόγη ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και πάντα Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lord, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Lord, Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Lord. For thine is the dominion, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, I will praise the Lord in my life. 
I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. Trust ye not in princes, in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. The Spirit shall go forth, and he shall return unto his earth. In that they all his thoughts shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Who hath made heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is therein. Who keepeth truth unto eternity, who executeth judgment for the wronged, who giveth food unto the hungry. The Lord looseth the fettered, the Lord maketh wise the blind, the Lord setteth a right the fallen, the Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the proselytes. Who shall adore for his own, the orphan and widow, and the way of sinners shall he destroy? The Lord shall be king unto eternity, thy God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O begotten Son and Word of God, Thou who art immortal, and is for our salvation to become incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary without change becoming man and who was crucified God, trampling down death by death, Thou who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorify together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most, most blessed, holy, glorious Lord, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Lord God, a man befriending God, our thought, and unto thee, the Son of glory, and Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thy kingdom remember us, O Lord, and thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of the heavens. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. We bring unto thee the words of the thief, and we cry unto thee, Remember us, O Savior, in thy kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. For the forgiveness of our sins we bring before thee the cross, which thou is accept for us, O friend of man. <clears throat> 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. We worship thy burial and arising, O Master, whereby thou hast delivered the world from corruption, O friend of man. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of the heavens. <coughs> By thy death, O Lord, death was swallowed up, and by thy resurrection, O Savior, thou hast saved the world. <clears throat> Blessed are ye when men shall revile and persecute you, and sell manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Name for wisdom, but not earthly wisdom, thou stoodest firm in the fear of God. Wherefore, O wise Sophia, midst the storm thou wast a rock of courage. Such were Susan, Olga, and Arsene, Esther, Tabitha, and brave Joanna, and countless others who no shock or blow shook loose from the love of Christ when many fell away. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in the heavens. <clears throat> Slain as victims, but not and as unwilling. Andrew and wise Demetrius laid down their lives as shepherds for the flock. For the flock in times of tribulation, they that love paupers and console those in distress were stripped bare of every consolation. For they elected to bear bitter punishments, lest they leave the path that the apostles walked. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, that Judas, that bloodied wolf in shepherd's clothes, and the salt that lost his savor and savior. When wretched Sergius made peace with the godless, ye made a holy division and cut him off. For what communion hath the light with the darkness of them that betray the Lord? Would now endeavor and unto the ages of ages, amen. The searcher of all those lost in trackless griefs and the mother of the men, mother of the God of all comfort, became for a seraphim a strength in his sorrows, and led him up unto heaven on wings of prayer, and strengthened by her tender love, he led many lost sheep back to life again. <coughs> Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. So, so, ni ma si eteu, o anastas ek nekron. Alleluia. O Son of God, who didst arise from the dead, save us who chant to the Alleluia. O te catir, tes proston thanaton, izoia thanatos, Tote donadine necros asti astrapitis teotitos, o te decetus teth neotas ecton catactonion anestisas, pase dinamis ton epuranion ecrabgazon, zodota Christe o Theosimon doxasi. When thou didst descend unto death, O life immortal, then didst thou slay Hades with the lightning of thy divinity, 
And when our souls who raise the dead out of the nethermost depths, all the powers in the heavens cried out, O life giver Christ, our God, glory be to thee. In these latter times a host of martyrs, newly crowned with grace, rejoice in heaven, glorified with diverse forms of martyrdom. For having censured the madness of godless foes, they gained the laurels of triumph and victory. Hence they fervently entreat Christ for us unceasingly to grant great mercy unto us who sing their praise. Like a spiritual day star in heaven's firmament that is encompassed the whole world and its enlightenment souls. Hence thy name is glorified throughout the east and west. For thou didst shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved Shepherd. Wherefore cease not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our souls. Sepimena pistonio amimepomen, anatoligarche disi orthodoxias dus fos, elogis americin septis lipsanisu, Filos edictis ke patir ke lau ke orfanon tokon ke ton elkiria. Os episcopos de tu San Francisco, presvelis ni Christo tu sose imas. Let us praise Juvenali and Tikon with a new great martyr, Peter and Herman and innocent Thomas Wise, righteous John of San Francisco with St. Philoret. For they all struggled in the Lord as they blessed America while sowing seeds of the true faith. Hence they entreat Christ the Savior that we with them may gain eternal life. By teachings and godly works thou didst enlighten thy flock. By wonders and signs of grace thou art a light for the world. O clement beloved of God, wherefore the Slavic peoples magnify thee with ardor. For through thee they are now grafted to Christ our Savior. Beseech him, O sacred herald, to illuminate and save our souls. After the Passion, the women came unto the tomb to anoint thy body, O Christ God. They saw angels in the grave and stood in awe, for they heard their voice proclaiming that the Lord is risen, granting great mercy unto the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choirs of martyrs who contested in the ancient times welcome the hosts of victors newly crowned by Christ our God, and they form one common festival in divine joy. For these ranks which fought for faith throughout the Russian land Set at not the wicked schemes of godless tyranny. Hence we cry to them, Rejoice, ye passion bearers of the Lord. <laughs> O mitran parthani kinai giasas to tokosu Ke kiras tu simeon evlogisas o se prepe Proftasas ke nin esos asimas Christe o Theos Alirin evson en polemis to politevma, ke krateoson vasilisus igapisa. Homonos philanthropos. Lord, have mercy. For holy art thou our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Oh
Obtain promises, stop the mouths of lions, quench the might of fire, escape the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, became mighty in war, turned to flight armies of aliens. Women received their dead by resurrection, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, so that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of mockings and scourgings, and moreover a bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and dens and caves of the earth. And these all, though attested to through faith, received not the promise. For God had provided some better thing for us, so that they without us should not be made perfect. Wherefore, seeing we also are encompassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every burden and the sin that does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before. unto Jesus, the author and finisher of the faith. And to thy spirit, wisdom, the Alleluia's in the fourth tone.
righteous cried, the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. Alleluia. 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 Many of the tribulations of the righteous and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging, and hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant, and they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace, but he cried so much the more, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith has saved thee. And immediately he received his sight, and followed him glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. The Lord said to his disciples, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him will I, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. 
He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Jesus said unto them, Amen, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> you may recall that when our Lord Jesus Christ visited the Samaritan in the Gospel passage of the Good Samaritan, you will remember that our Lord, who is the Good Samaritan, went from Jerusalem to Jericho, as we hear in today's Gospel passage, which signifies that he comes down to our level. Jericho is below sea level. Jerusalem is above, and we even call the Jerusalem which is above our heavenly homeland. So our Lord comes, as he draws near to Jericho, he hears a blind man who calls out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he cries out and he makes a noise, a great noise. And the people were telling him to be quiet. But he cried out all the more, it says in Scripture, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And our Lord (coughs) visits this person. And he asks him, what would you like for me to do for you? And the blind man said, of course, O Lord, that I may see my sight. Give me my sight. And the Lord gave him his sight. The gospel is so full of so many messages that even if we were to delve deeply into all these messages throughout our entire life, we wouldn't be able to get deep enough. There's too much there. And the fathers try to help us to understand the gospel passages through their illumination. But also the dazzling light of the gospel sometimes blinds certain people. And they don't really understand that one has to receive a certain type of illumination. One has to read with great humility in order to understand the scriptures. For this reason, there are so many heresies. the gospel rests on the church and not vice versa. And for this reason, you see on the holy altar, we have the holy gospel there, right in the middle of the church. The holy gospel is moved so that we can place the holy chalice and the holy pattern there so that we can become participants in Christ. But we must hear the gospel. We must have a connection with the gospel in our participation in the Holy Eucharist with prayer so that we can be united to Christ, so that we can live Christ, so that we can understand Christ. And the fathers of our church teach us that there are different faculties of the soul and that the reasoning, the mind, is not the same thing as the noose. And as far as heaven is from earth, so far is the one to the other. 
The mind is very limited, whereas the noose is very vast and able to comprehend. It is the faculty by which we can communicate with God, and one needs to know this so that they can understand the gospel passages, so that we can understand that we actually enter into the pages of this book, so to speak, when we hear the gospel passages. And the church, throughout the centuries, has its developments, the body of Christ, so that we have today all that which we see, the beauty of the church, and the fathers. There are so many fathers in their experience from generation to generation hand down to us so much so that although, even though we are getting closer to the end of time, we also have a wealth, a great wealth of information. And the very same Holy Spirit which existed in the church in the first centuries is the one who exists today here. And this should be great comfort for us and it should really knock some sense into us. We have to understand where we are when we are in church, and we have to understand what wealth we have and what potential we have as human beings. As the fathers teach us, man has great potential, but we have not really delved into these, these mysteries because our eyesight is still not working properly. The noose is also called the eye of the soul. And so the eye of the soul needs to open to recognize Christ. But first we must pray. And we must, as you've heard me say many times, we must persist in prayer, in deep prayer. And this is what we find in the example today of the blind man. Our Savior comes down even as he comes down to us. And he has come down to us. And he is here now with us. He that is above is above all things and fills all things. He is present everywhere. But he visits us. He wants to talk to us. He wants to engage with us. And he wants us to talk to him. Because in doing so, we receive divine rays, light. If there's no communication with God, that means that we're not, <clears throat> we're somewhere else. We're far away. We're not we are rather oblivious to those, to who he is, for we must experience him. We must receive rays of light from him. We must receive grace from him. But how are we to do so? We must call upon him. And St. Paul teaches us that we must pray without ceasing. He also says, of course, do not use vain repetitions, but that is when we pray vainly. We must repeat prayer so that we can attract God's mercy and God's grace, even as this blind man did in today's gospel passage. For he would not stop saying, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. There were many different types of prayers that were used. For example, St. John Cashin says that you should continuously say, O God, be attentive unto helping me. O Lord, make haste to help me. That was a continuous unceasing prayer of some of the Desert Fathers at the time. But in their experience, the Fathers knew how powerful the name of Jesus Christ is. And this short prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, as we read in the Way of a Pilgrim, is a concise explanation of the Gospel, a proclamation of our faith, a confession of faith and the prayer of repentance. So the fathers teach us to say the prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. This prayer is a powerful prayer. But when we start saying the prayer, we find many distractions. There are many voices telling us, stop. Just like this blind man heard many voices telling him to quiet down. And those voices sometimes can be louder than us. And so we must be louder. And I'm saying that figurative, figuratively. We must have more contrition, more devotion in our prayer. The voices of the demons will try to stop us, will try to distract us one way or another. And that will just force us with more fervor to say the prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. 
And we see how beautifully and artistically God permits man to come into union with him through this prayer and through this whole process. Not only in the prayer, but in general, in our life, the evil demons are always trying to discourage us from progressing in prayer. A lot of times people will think, well, nothing's really happening, I'm not changing. These are the voices of the demons telling us to just quit it. They're trying to discourage us. But God sees the intention, <coughs> and God awards the intention. And although we may think that God is not around, He is closer than you may think. And He wants us to be saved more than we want to be saved. For He wishes that all men be saved. And so we can't waste this time that has been given to us. We can't go backwards. And many of us, if God permits, may God grant that we all become members of the heavenly Jerusalem. But by God's providence, many times, there have been revelations from saints who reveal themselves to living saints, who would say things like, if only I knew I would have done this or I would have done that. I would have accepted more rebukes, or I would have taken on more struggles, or I would have been more quiet, or I would have left the world, or so on and so forth. Like the example of St. Constantine the Great who appears to St. Paisios and says, if I knew the glory which the monastics have in paradise, I would have left my throne to become a monastic. And of course, we have so many examples of many who had positions like emperors and empresses who would run to become monastics. And so here we are now, and most of us are bogged down by worldly concerns. We get distracted with the world, and that's, those are the voices. That's what the devil wants. He wants to distract us from the prayer. He wants to distract us from the spiritual life. He wants to distract us from the life of repentance. Although this blind man didn't really know who the son of David was, that he also is the son of God, we now know all things have be been manifest, have become manifest to us, all things are revealed to us, and we must persist in this prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy in me. And in this prayer, we will find great fruit, and we will find so many, so many beautiful things, so many beautiful pearls. Then, eventually, the Lord asks us, what do you want? And what we, we want is we want to see him. We want to receive our sight. And this is, as we said, the noose. The, the spiritual intellect is, and the noose is the king. The mind is the servant. They must be united with one another, but we must recognize and we must find the king, we must find our spiritual faculty so that we can receive God's mercy. Now you've also heard me say many times that St. Isaac says that once we progress spiritually and come to some type of an understanding spiritually, we will understand that there's really only one thing that we should really ask God for. This is the one crucial thing, the most important thing, and that is for mercy. Because in this, we ask for the heavenly kingdom. And our Savior says himself that we should ask first for the kingdom, and then all things shall be added to us. So when we pray, we should always say, If it be thy holy will, O Lord, grant me this or grant me that. We should not persist in our will, but we should persist in asking for God's mercy. If we persist in our will, especially if it is not the will of God, then we are making vain repetitions. If we persist in the Jesus prayer, then we are praying without ceasing. When we receive God's mercy, we receive God's illumination. Although so many have not reached great heights, spiritual heights, all of us who are living the path, who are on the path and trying to live the life of the Christian, will have moments of illumination. For this is what the Lord wants. 
And we have to be able to be open to him at that time. He is coming now to visit us, and that's what happens at every liturgy. He's coming down from Jerusalem to Jericho. He is here among us. Whether you believe it or not, whether you see it or not, whether you feel it or not, he is in our midst, and we must, tr- we must truly believe it. And now if you know that the Lord of all, the King of glory, the master of all angels and all creation and men and all of that which the Lord has created is in our midst, how should we be? For we always tend to be excited when we're, we're in the presence of someone who is prestigious, someone who has some type of authority or some type of a name. But here you're in the best place. There's no place like it, and that's every Orthodox Church. May the Lord grant us to persist in prayer, prayer which is well-pleasing to God. May the Lord help us to discover what His mercy is about, and may the Lord help us to pray the prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, and to discover there the great love which God has for mankind, since we are all greatly in need of His mercy. And in the particular time, in the specific time of our difficulties, like this blind man, that's when the prayer can become more powerful and more meaningful. And that's why we give thanks to God in all circumstances, in those circumstances which seem to us to be very negative, and in those circumstances which seem to us to be very positive, in all things we give thanks and glory to God, remembering what the Holy Apostle Paul said in today's epistle reading. He confesses that he is the first among sinners because he did persecute the Church of Christ. And yet, look at how God chose him. And the Lord can do the very same thing to any single one. If that person is just open to the Lord, the Lord wishes to sanctify him, to give him his grace. The Lord wishes to raise him on high. But there will be many temptations and there will be many struggles. And for this reason, we must desperately cry out, Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. May the mercy of God overshadow us all. Amen. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Father and Archbishop Demetrius. Despota. And his synodia. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our brethren, priests, priests, monks, deacons, hierodeacons, monks, nuns, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of all pious and orthodox Christians, the founders, donors, and benefactors of this holy monastery, and for all who keep this holy peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us, the Orthodox here and everywhere, pious shall they to Lord rest. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray also for our brethren who are about their tasks, and for them that are away, and for all our benefactors, past and present, for them that minister and have ministered unto us in this holy monastery. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, holy man, befriending God, art thou and unto thee, do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray, catechumens, to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Be faithful for the catechumens. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. That the Lord may have mercy on them. Lord have mercy. That He may catechize them with the word of truth. Lord have mercy. That He may reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. That He may unite them to His holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by Thy grace. Lord have mercy. Ye catechumens, bow your heads on. To the, Lord. to the Lord. That they also with us may glorify the all honorable and majestical name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
As many as are catechumens depart, ye catechumens depart. As many as are catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, bound ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Eti keti, en irini tu kiriu dei tome. Kiri eleison. Andi lavu so son eleison, que di apilak son imasu te osti si hariti. Kiri eleison. Sofia. Being guarded always under thy dominion, we may send up glory under thee to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask Grant of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. And this, o Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, glorious most Lady, holy, pale, pale dope, dope, ghost, and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Son with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good life, King Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And to thy Spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. Thus did us, thus did us in Sophia pros amen. Πιστεύω σε ένα Θεόν Πατέρα Παντοκράτορα, ποιητήν ουρανού και γης ορατώντα πάντων και οράτων, και σε ένα Κύριο Ιησούν Χριστόν, τον Υιό του Θεού, τον μόνο γενή, τον εκ του Πατρός γεννηθέντα, προπάντων των αιώνων, φως εκ φωτός, Θεών αληθινών, εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα, ου ποιηθέντα, ου μου Ιησού Πατρίδου τα πάντα γένετο, τον δημάρσου ανθρώπους δια την ημιτέραν σωτηρίαν κατελθόν εκ του ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας Παρθένο και ενανθρωπίσεντα. Σταύρο θέντατε υπηρημών επί ποντίου πλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα και να στάντα τη τρίτη μέρα κατά τα ζραφάς και ανελθώντα στους ουρανούς και καθεζόμενα καταξιών του Πατρός και πάλιν ερχόμενον μεταδόξης κρίνεζώντας και νέκρους ούτης βασιλείας ούκ εστε τέλος 
και στο πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον των Ζωπιών, το του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συν Πατρί και Υιό, Συν Προσκυνούμενον και Συν Δοξαζόμενον στο Λαλίσαν Διά των Προφητών, και εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτεσμος άφησεν εμαρτιών, προσδοκώ Ανάστασή νεκρών και ζωή του μέλλοντος αιώνου. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and descended into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead in the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy, a peace, a sacrifice, a
blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you for many, for the remission of sins.
the first, remember, O Lord, our Father and our Archbishop Demetrius, and that thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. To Demetrius, and his reverend and Catholic Metropolitan, the most holy metropolis of America, our Father and Chief Shepherd, be many years. Lord, have mercy. And all each and every one, each and every one, and grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify you in the name of the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with you all, and with thy spirit. Calling to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loveth mankind, who hath accepted them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return the divine grace. And the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask Grant of the Lord. Us, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask Grant of the Lord. This, o Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us Grant ask of the Lord. This, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us Grant ask of the Lord. This, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask Grant of the Lord. This, o Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our Amen. God. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Pater Mundus Ranis, I guess that Tormasu, Elfet to Vesilius, we need it to Thelimasu, Ocean Uranoke Petitis, Tonartu Mondon Epusion, Dosim Simon and Kiaf, Siminta, Falima Taimon. Ως και εμείς σε αφήμη της οφελέτης ημών και εμείς σε ανάγκης ημάς πειρασμών αλλά ρίσε μας από του πονηρού. Ω τσενάσι ζέσι να νεβέσαι έκδαση ατήτσια ημιά Τβέ τα πρίδε τσάρστιε Τβέ τα βούτε τβόλια Τβέ αιάκο να νεβέσαι να ζεμλή Λεύνας να σου σνιδάς να μπνέσαι ως τάβι να μπνέσαι να μπνέσαι να μπνέσαι ως τα βλέμμα των νεχών νάσιμ Ή νεβεδι να σου εισκουσένιε νο Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And to thy spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. for the holy mm -hmm. 
praises me for thee, O Christ, Alleluia. I believe the Lord and I confess with our truly to Christ, the Son of the living God, and commission of the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed thine immaculate body, and this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, and knowledge and in ignorance, and thoughts of that uncondemned. I may partake of thine immaculate mysteries, and of the remission of sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach divine communion, and make a burning that I to partake for fire, and thou which burneth thee unworthy, but purify me of every stain. Of the mystics of our O Son, our God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like a thief, though I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Tremble, O man, as thou beholdest the deifying blood, for it is a burning coal consuming thee, and worthy the body of God with deifieth and nourisheth me, and deifieth the spirit, and wonderfully nourisheth the mind. Thou hast smitten me with your name, O Christ, and by the divine love hast changed me, but with an image of fire consume my sins, and coming worthy to be filled with delight in thee, the leaping for joy, good one, and the magnify thee to comings. Into the splendor thy saints house lie, the unworthy one enter, for should I dare to enter the bridal chamber of my vesture doth portray me, for it is not a wedding garment, it is one bound to be cast off by the angels. Cleanse the Lord of the file of my soul, and save me since thou art a friend of man. O member of any master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not his holy guest be enemy for judgment through mine unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body. And as an earnest of life in the kingdom of come, for it is good for me to cleave in a God and place in the Lord to hope for my salvation. And the mystics of our soul, my God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like a thief. Do I confess thee? Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, in thy kingdom. <coughs> O martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf, ye sovereigns, hierarchs, priests, and deacons, monks, and nuns, and all of every estate, ye martyrs of Russia, who has lights that shone in darkness, have dispersed ungodly gloom. Shine your light on your servants who have assembled to sing your praise and entreat the Lord that we all be saved. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf, ye followed Christ from joyous Cana to the tabor of his marvelous light. But darkness descended, and ye followed him through mockery and torments unafraid, and betrayed in Gethsemane ye died with him on Golgotha, now ye dwell on high in Jerusalem. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf, as ye have gathered us to laud the death ye suffered for the Lord Jesus Christ at Christ's second coming, do ye likewise gather us into his kingdom by your prayers, for although it exceeded our strength to honor you worthily, ye reward the purpose beyond the deed. Most holy to talk save us. The earth was shaken, kingdoms tottered. He that doth restrain was taken away, but our reigning lady, not forsaking her inheritance, had visited her own as a queen midst her subjects. She never leaveth without defense any that flee unto her sovereign help. <clears throat> o martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf. As the birth in the waters began with Prince Vladimir, so the bloody baptism too began with a Vladimir to purge a people's sins in scarlet Jordans of sufferings, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth as a son. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf, what fair Rachel hath mothered this Joseph and Benjamin, who as faithful children fought for their heavenly father's name, who being Sarah's sons and not the baseborn of Hagar, kept the church without spot and unsullied bride for Christ. O, Saint, o martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf, by a brave new confessor, the most devout Maximus was a latter Sergius, confuted, humbled, and cut away, who durst proclaim the lie that in Christ's mystical body and the godless kingdom there is but a single will. Most holy to talk save us, <coughs> sent from exile to exile for, for faithfulness unto him, whom a virgin mother brought forth to bring exiled men to God. O Cyril, thou hast found as recompense for thine exiles that abiding city in heaven with all the saints. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf. Let us extol Elias, Basil, and blessed John, Anastasia, Anna, Sergius, noble Clement, and Eugene, who preferred a death in serving their sovereigns as better than life apart from them, with whom they reign together, not as sovereigns and servants, but joint heirs with Christ Jesus, the King of Kings. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf. O race of gods who were once humbled below the beasts, your dishonor had been turned to that which Adam long ago vainly sought amiss. But lawfully striving, ye won the prize of divinity. And in your congregation as the judge with the victors, God doth stand out among you the gods by grace. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf, Sarov and Perm, Tobolsk, Solovki, and Astrakhan, Peter's city, with Kazan and ancient Moscovite herself, 
leap for joy this day, the whole land of Russia, rejoicing to see how martyrdom had made her earthborn children to be gods by adoption, and we faithful are hallowed in blessing them. Most holy Thodoko, save us, is Jacob's son, both in the flesh and by grace divine. Alexander ever praised the comeliness of Jacob's line and of Jacob's line as his sovereign queen. The pure Theotokos, more honorable than the cherubim, and she in her compassion gave him strength as a martyr to confess her divine son before the foes. O martyrs of Christ, in the seed of behalf, O Arcadian shepherd, innocent and guileless and loving thy hidden flocks with no certain dwelling, thou didst wander among all thy scattered sheep, warming their souls winter with thy divinely burning fervor, O most valorous shepherd Arcadius. O martyrs of Christ, in the seed of behalf, Every slander and scandal, every form of calumny, malice, and wicked lie soiled your names before men, but before him that seeth and knoweth all, ye were rendered sinless through the injustice that ye suffered, and your names have been written have been writ in the book of life. O martyrs of Christ, see them we have. <clears throat> With the zeal of Elias, thou didst blame the Ahabs, perverting God's Israel. And, O Philosophus, with his fiery zeal and his chariot, thou dost hasten swiftly to succor all those in afflictions who invoke thee in prayer and who sing thy praise. Most holy Tutoko, save us. In thine awesome compassions, keep the flock engendered throughout every place and age by thy wondrous childbirth, which united the Lord to our fallen race, hope to the despairing, and life to those once slain in passions. For, O Virgin, our souls look to thee with hope. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on in behalf. <coughs> <coughs> past the tongue of man to tell are the afflictions ye endured, past the mind of man to know are the rewards that ye have received, for in darkness descending the light of your faith shone all the brighter, and in all the torments that ye suffered the flame of your love for Christ was only enkindled the more, as ye stand at his throne in glory, O innumerable multitudes of holy martyrs, intercede for us who keep your remembrance on the earth. O holy sovereigns and hierarchs of Russia, O good shepherds and sheep of Christ, O noble monastics and laymen, O innumerable multitudes of holy martyrs who were faithful to Christ, your bridegroom, through every trial, and were betrothed to him in your innocent blood, pray for the suffering church on earth, that the Savior might save us from the besetments of heresy and sin, and rescue us from the unendurable tempest to come. When evildoers sat, at, sat as judge, and the prisons were filled with the righteous, when bitter was called sweet, and the day was turned to darkness, ye stood immovable with godlike goodness, neither returning evil for evil, nor overwhelmed by the rising tide of perverse falsehood, nor suffering fear to wither your faith in Christ. Wherefore, since ye are become like God, and ye make the sun of your kindness to rise on the just and the unjust, send your grace also upon us, O innumerable multitudes of holy martyrs. The day is far spent, and ye are the blood-red effusion of the sun that goeth down in glory. The end is at hand, and ye are mighty intercessors for all who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Wherefore, since ye overcame the prince of darkness in your contest, earnestly implore the Lord to grant peace unto the world and to save our souls, the holy martyrs of Russia. Since thou receivest the supplications of sinners and dost not disdain the groanings of the afflicted, intercede with him that came forth from thy pure loins, that we be saved, O Holy Virgin. <coughs> o martyrs of Christ, intercede on our behalf. <coughs> Lord, for a new bard of Damascus to sing worthily of Damascene, thy hierarch, for the white winter, winter snows that blew on him in exiles were not so pure of earthly mire as his soul made pure through sorrows. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on behalf, Lydia, Cyril, and Alexis, God, the Trinity's fair trinity of bright stars, as ye shine in the heights, shed light on us who love you, bestow the healings of our ills and the pardon of our failings. O martyrs of Christ, intercede on behalf, surges that prate of lawful order, but neglecteth mercy, faith, and truth, and judgment. Having strained out the gnat, he swalloweth the camel and persecuteth Christ's elect who reproach his wounded conscience. Most holy Tadoko, save us. Thou gavest birth to Christ the treasure that was hid within the field of thy most pure womb, who concealed from his foes his treasure, Antonina, until her time was fully come that she died for her confession. O martyrs of Christ, see them behalf. 
as a healer of both the soul and body, thou didst also raise up an army of physicians to bring the antidote of death to faithful souls when a deadly sickness spread throughout the whole land, O, Ma o Maximus, our Father. O martyrs of Christ, in the sin of behalf, I extol Plato's mighty love of wisdom, which he sealed with his blood in stern martyric contest. I speak not of that Plato which invented tales, but the hallowed hierarch whom ungodly murder sent up to heaven's rev revels. O martyrs of Christ, in the sin of behalf, as a rock of confession in afflictions, that which thou hast received from Tikhon, thou didst hold fast, preserving faith unbroken in the hierarchy, and the gates of Hades never gained the victory against the church of Peter. Most holy to Dr. save us, were it witchcraft, adultery, or murder, or murder, ye had doubtless been shown the chance of proving guiltless, but since it was confession of the Virgin's Son, ye were shown no mercy, stripped of earthly justice, and killed as worse than wicked. O martyrs of Christ, and to see them have, if heaven could be thronged and come short of room, then well might all your multitude overswell those boundless bounds, whence all pain and sighing are fled away. And though to fools ye seem to die, great is your reward, O eternal joy. The devil's seeming victory is swallowed up in sorrow when he beholdeth where you now abide. O martyrs of Christ, in the sin of behalf, by reason of my wrath have I smitten thee, but because of my mercy I loved thee well, O Israel, saving thee through straightness and not through ease. For what prosperity dispersed, sorrow hath regained, yea, and multiplied. Thy glory is not earthly, thy chastening shall save thee from condemnation with the sinful world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The time would fail to tell of this fair array of new Gideons, Baraks, and Samsons that through mighty faith ran the race with patience and won the crown. O soul, turn from thy vanity to the valiant martyrs while yet thou canst. With mercy and with longing they look for thy rep repentance that all their earnest prayers for thee be heard. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. The prince and strength of love is in sacrifice, and though God oweth no man a proof of his eternal love, yet the Father chose to give up his Son. And seeing this, the martyred saints rendered love for love through their willing death. They magnify their Maker while praising thee, his mother, through whom we learned how God hath loved the world. O oh, Holy Trinity of God, have mercy on us. Let us laud in song the triple and single sovereign nature of Godhead and say, Since thou hast by essence an enemy of the gulf of mercy, preserve and save us as the friend of man. Preserve and save as the friend of man them that worship thee. O oh, Holy Trinity of God, have mercy on us. O oh, Father, who is the cause of the consubstantial divinity in the Son and in the thy Holy Spirit, art both wellspring and root, make thy three sun brilliance to well up in my heart and make it bright through participation in thy deifying illumination. O all holy trinity, our God, have mercy on us. O thrice resplendent and divinely sovereign unity, scatter all the gloom of my sins and passions with the sweetest participation in thy luminous rays, and make me a temple and immaculate tabernacle of thine unapproachable glory. Most holy Theotokos, save us. God the Word, incarnate in thy womb, O immaculate virgin, out of love for man, check the once unnatural course of our suffering nature, which has slipped towards corruption, and he initiated us into the divine sovereignty of thee lights. O all holy Trinity, our God, have mercy on us. I glorify thee as being of equal honor with respect to thy persons by reason of the equality of thy nature or divine sovereignty. For thou being life and the provider of life art without change. Our God is one and there is none holy save thee, O Lord. O all holy Trinity, our God, have mercy on us. Thou didst establish the immaterial and heavenly orders as mirrors of thy beauty, that they might cease in him, the O Trinity, thou indivisible monarchy. Wherefore receive praise even now from our mouth of clay. O oh, Holy Trinity, our God, have mercy on us. <coughs> Establish upon the rock of faith hearts and minds of thy servants, and enlarge them in the in the deep sea of thy love, O unity of three sons. For thou art a God, ho <coughs> hoping in thee may we not be put to shame. Most holy Theotokos, save us. He that once invested with existence the whole substance of creation, assumed existence in thy womb in his infinite goodness, O Theotokos. And he hath made the three sunlight of the one divinity and lordship to rise upon all. When thou didst form Adam in the beginning, O compassionate Lord, then didst thou say to thine hypostatic word, Let us make him after our likeness. And the Holy Spirit was present as creator. Wherefore we cry to thee, O our maker and God, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and up to the ages of ages. Amen. And God condescended to come upon us, O all pure virgin, then did he dwell in thine exceedingly pure womb, and through thee he saved the whole nature of man, 
granting the kingdom of the heavens unto all. Wherefore we cry unto thee, O Pia Theotokos, rejoice, O servant lady. O Holy Trinity, O God, have mercy on us. Even the immaterial orders of the angels are not able to comprehend the O beginning of the Trinity in unity. Nevertheless, we with tongue of clay pray to glorify with faith on essential goodness. O Holy Trinity, O God, have mercy on us. As the fashion of man's nature, O Almighty, thou now seest as all seeing all my weakness. Wherefore, have compassion on thy servant and lead me up to a far better way of life. O Holy Trinity, O God, have mercy on us. We praise the unmingled persons of the sovereign unity which possess their hypostases individually and separately, yet are nevertheless united and undivided in will and glory and divinity. Most holy Theotoko, save us. The, Al the Almighty verily found thee alone from all eternity to be a pure and immaculate temple over, O ever virgin Theotokos, wherein, having dwelt, he formed anew the nature of man, since he is the friend of man. O Holy Trinity of God, have mercy on us. <coughs> Son, living God, but shepherd and lamb, who takes away the sins of the world, and did smit alone to debtors that's found safe, to the woman as a sinner, the remission of her sins, do thou the same, Lord. Loose, remit, forgive the sins and transgressions which have been committed in transgressions and disobedience for these thy servants. <coughs> and if they, bearing flesh and dwelling in the world, that they are human, have in any way been beguiled of the devil, if the word of deed, whether wit in the yard, wit in the they have sinned. He that is staying in the word of a priest, fallen his death, and broke the road, do thou the same, Master, and that thou good and cherish us, not ill will. Gracious, it grants thy servants the word of absolution, remitting unto them their anathema, first coming mercy. The O Lord, a man, of mankind, hear the voice and make a petition unto thy goodness on behalf of these thy servants. And disregard thou all their errors, and must exceed the mercy of them for punishment and eternal. For thou hast said, O Master, whatsoever shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, for thou alone without sin. And it is some glory to hear the Father, bringing that all holy good and life spirit, and unto the age of age of men. The grace of the All Holy Spirit have you all absolved and forgiven, both in this life. And the issue comes from my word is from the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I'm to the age of age. Receive the comment in the name of the Lord God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Lord, the
Let our mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may him thy glory. For thou hast counted us worthy to partake of thy holy mysteries. Preserve us in thy sanctification, meditating on thy righteousness all the day long. Alleluia. Upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, and life-creating, fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our Glory God. Be O Lord. Without our sanctification and the precepts of the Lord and Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, thou that we run to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us depart. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses them and bless thee and sanctifies them to put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify them to love the beauty of thy house. Do thou in turn glorify them by the divine power and forsake us not that hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to those in authority, and to all thy people. For every good giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights, and unto thee do we send up glory and thanksgiving and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. instructed in uprightness through thoroughly and was vigilant in all things. Thou was clothed with a good conscience as, as befitted one holy. Thou didst draw for, from the chosen vessel ineffable mysteries, and having kept the faith, thou didst finish a like course, O Hiram Martyr and Apostle Timothy. Intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. In these latter times, a host of martyrs, newly crowned with grace, rejoice in heaven, glorified with diverse forms of martyrdom. For having censured the madness of godless foes, they gain the laurels of triumph and victory. <clears throat> Hence they fervently entreat Christ for us unceasingly to grant great mercy unto us who sing their praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crown of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants, and wholly destroyed the demons' strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayers, save our souls, since thou art merciful. <laughs> Ti presvia kiri e pandon ton nagi on ke ti ste otoku ki sineri ni dolsi min ke lei soni mas os monos siktir mo. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, that has brought all things under perfection by the word of Lord and has commanded the earth to food, to produce fruits of every kind for our enjoyment and sustenance. Who with grains <coughs> to show the three children in Daniel to be fair than them that in Babylon live sumptuously? Do thou, a supremely good king, bless these grains also together with these diverse fruits and sanctify them to partake thereof? For it is under thy glory, O Lord, that they have been presented by the servants in an honor and memory of the holy apostle Timothy, disciple of St. Paul. 
the holy righteous martyr Anastasius of Persia, the holy martyrs Emmanuel, Bishop of Adrianople, George, Bishop of Dweltum, Peter, the presbyter, Leontius, Bishop of Nicaea, Sionius, Gabriel, John, and Leo, the military tribunes, Parodas, the presbyter, and another 377 who were martyred in Bulgaria, our righteous Father Joseph, the sanctified of Crete, surnamed Samachus, the holy righteous martyr Anastasius, the deacon of the Kiev Caves, our righteous Father Macarius, the wonder worker of Sabine, and all the holy new martyrs of Russia, whose synaxes we celebrate, and also in memory of them that have finished their life <coughs> in godly faith. And do thou, O good one, grant unto them that have prepared these things and celebrate their every salutary request. <coughs> And celebrate this memory there, every salutary request and the enjoyment of thine everlasting good things by the intercessions of our all immaculate lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of the Holy Apostle Timothy, disciple of St. Paul, and all the holy new martyrs of Russia, whose synaxes we celebrate, whose memory we also keep, and of all thy saints. For thou art he that blesseth us and sanctifieth all things, O Christ our God, and unto thee to be Son of glory with thy beginning, O most Father, and then all holy good and life, creating spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Master, bless. He that arose from the dead, Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the power of the honor and life giving cross, by the protection of the venerable heavenly body, this powers, by the supplications of the venerable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all famed apostles, Peter and Paul, the chiefs of twelve and the seventy of our father among the saints, Nicholas and Maria Alicia, of the holy glorious great martyrs, George and Trophy, Bear, Demetrius, the mercy of the holy glorious and triumphantly victorious martyrs, of our righteous and God bearing fathers, come into Noma, Pokhara, the wonder workers, Sarah from Osra, Herman of Alaska, and the Juvenali of Alaska, Tikon on the confessor, Patriarch of Moscow, Peter the Aliyah, the fathers among the saints, the new confessors, Philaret of New York, Clicari of Romania, and Chrysostom of Florida. Our righteous mother, Ksenia Tarasia, the fools for Christ's sake of our holy patron, John Maxwellovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the Lord of the Lord, the Holy And I have any tender to good communion of the life, redeem mystic gifts, for you, good praise, and great thanksgiving, and fervently from thy soul, crying to God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, that thou hast not rejected me, the sinner, but hast deemed me worthy to be a communicant of thy holy mysteries. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy and worthy as I am to partake of thine immaculate and heavenly gifts. But, O member, for any master who does die for us, and rise again, and just grant us these straight and life creating mysteries for the benefit of for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies, grant also that these may be enemy for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for love and pain, for faith and shame, for the plenitude of wisdom, and for the keeping of thy commandments, and for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom. That being kept by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and ever live for myself, or for thee, a master and benefactor, and thus from this life I have passed in hope of life eternal, may attain to everlasting rest, where the sun is unceasing, and them we keep festival. And unending the delight to them of behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance, for thou art a true desire, and then utterable gladness to them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation praises thee unto the ages of men. O Master Christ God, King of the ages and creator of all, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me, and for the participation in thine immaculate and my creating mysteries. I pray thee, therefore, O good one, thou friend of man, guard me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings, and grant me to the pure conscience of my last breath, and may worthily partake of the holy gifts under forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. For thou art the bread of life, the wellspring of holiness, and giver of all that is good, and to thee we send of glory. 
with the Father and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Thou who givest me willingly as nourishment, thy flesh, thou who art fire and its consumed and worthy, scorch me not, O my Maker, but rather pass through me for the right ordering of my members and all my joints, my range and my heart, burn up the point of all my defenses. Purify my soul, sanctify my mind, make firm my knees and bones, and enlighten the simple unity of my five senses. Nail down to holy me with thy fear, ever shelter, guard, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify and cleanse, and order me to write me, become me, give me understanding, and enlighten me, show me forth as a habitation of the Spirit only, and no longer as a habitation of sin. That is thine abode, from the entrance in it, thy communion, every evil doer and passion may flee from me like fire, whose intercessors I bring to thee all the sanctify, the rank to the incorporeal powers, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and further thy pure and spotless mother, the pierce of these receive, O my compassion of Christ, and make of me who worship thee a child of light, for thou alone art our sanctification, O good one, and the illumination of our souls, and unto thee as our God and Master. <coughs> we each day is fitting, I'll send up glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, mean to me for eternal life and precious blood for the forgiveness of sins. May the Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and in the dread second coming, make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory by the intercessions of thine own immaculate mother and of all thy saints. Amen. O all holy lady, today, O focus the light of my darkened soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me the unworthy one, worthy to be a communicant of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy son. But do thou will give us birth through the true light, and lighten in the noetic eyes of my heart. For thou wouldst conceive the source of immortality, give life to me from dead in sin. For thou who art the compassionately loving mother, the mercy of God, have mercy on me, and give me compunction and contrition of heart, humility my reasonings, and recall all my thoughts in your captivity. And deem me worthy to my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification and the immaculate mysteries and the healing of both soul and body, and grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may him and glorify thee. All the days of my life, for blessing and glorified art thou unto the ages. For blessing and glorified art thou unto the ages. For blessing and glorified art thou unto the ages, amen. Now let us all this in the part of peace and man's word of thy word from our eyes, of sin, and salvation, which shall spread for the peace of all peace. A light of revelation and age of the glory of the Christian realm. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Holy God, Holy God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of Mercy, Nas. Holy God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of Mercy, Nas. Holy God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of Mercy, Nas. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, from now, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, the grace of our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit us with our infirmities, for Thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, shall be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Mine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of men. Amen. Grace shone forth from my mouth like a beacon that illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of covetousness and shown us the heights of humility, but also instructing us by the words of Father John Chrysostom. Intercede with the word of Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit from the heavens, that shall receive divine grace, and by thy lips that thou teach all the worship of one God and Trinity, O John Chrysostom. O blessed righteous one, rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher, revealing things divine, both now and over and into the ages of ages of men. By the intercessions of the Lord of all the saints and the Theophilus, do thou grant us thy peace. And have mercy on us, since thou alone art compassionate. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the Son, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee without corruption, give us birth to God, the word, the very theotokos, seed we magnify in the name of the Lord, Master Bless. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master God. Our Holy Patron, John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the Holy Apostle Timothy, Disciple of St. Paul. And of all the holy new martyrs of Russia whose synaxes we celebrate. And of our Father among the saints, John Christopher, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the saints, may he have mercy on us and save us, for he is good the friend of man. The church is shown to be a many lighted heaven, that to shine a guiding light upon all them that do believe. Wherein was standing, we cry aloud, do thou thyself now establish this house. O Lord, to stereo maton episip epithoton, stereo so en kiriet in ecclesian, in ecti so totimi on suem ati. The effondering of the young Kiris of Christ, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, who God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Amen. 
O Heart of Christ, intercede on our behalf, the great wonder worker, Archbishop John in the highest heaven, now rejoiceth eternally and prayeth for those who keep his memory, those who love crown his struggles with hymns of praise. O Heart of Christ, <coughs> intercede on our behalf. May he who once walked here upon the earth like an earthly angel sent by God to enlighten men, now strengthen us by his intercessions, that we may walk in the ways of our Lord's commands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the little and stature of righteous John, yet it was a giant in the Spirit of Christ the Lord. As was evinced clearly by thy wonders, let us pray that we too, we too may grow in our life in Christ, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all holy lady, the mother of God, thou who art encircled by the angels and by the saved, now cleanse us of soul corrupting passions, that we may join their pure ranks and realms on high. O hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf, like Melati, the hierarch appeared on light sleeplessly. Thou wondrous struggle, us also pray to our triumph God at night till break of day, to the amazement of angels and to the salvation of all who turn unto thee. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf through thy patron, Saint Michael, in early years thou wast filled with love for the Savior, O wise John, whom thou didst seek to please by the strict way of life, thou simulating the righteous, thou hast grown virtuous, one chosen by the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In all trials and illness and grievous times, we all turn to thy sacred image with much faith, and we receive through thee from our compassionate and our most loving Creator, grace and consolation, and strength in our heart and mind, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. How to loss, how to him thee do to mine own sinfulness, appear Theotokos and Virgin. I offer unto thee as a pure joy, so to true and heartfelt repentance, and instead of incense, receive thou my love for thee. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. <coughs> the divine light of thou dost climb, zealously ascending unto the throne of grace, and with gifts received from Christ the Lord, thou dost send thy sacred flock, O wondrous John. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. With the cross of our Master Christ, bless us, O great Hierarch, lest we sleep in a death. He awaken us to seek the Lord, that we may receive the Savior's joyous light. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The rules of, by the rules of Pacomi is given by an angel, didst thou live as a monk, hence thy heart was filled with grace divine, and thou dost excel in the angelic life, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With one voice and with heart and mind, let us laud the Virgin, the Mother of our God, and her icon let us kiss with love, thanking her for blessings given unto us. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf as a higher monk, thou dost teach thyself students well to worship Christ in truth and piety, thus help us also by the prayers of saints to do the same. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf, as thou once didst heal all the ailing with the icon of the blessed Naum, which blossomed forth with grace. So come with him and heal our souls, whoever wonders John. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf, to Archbishop John, the Good Shepherd of the Church of Christ, let us now offer joyous hymns of praise, for he still guideth all the faithful who pray unto him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Children ran to thee for thy blessing, O thou child like John, for they perceived that Christ God dwelt in thee, and we too praise thee for thy Christ like true humility, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Angel of all, pure one in the heavens, praise thy holy name while here on earth. We also call thee blessed, for thou dost give birth to the Lord, our loving Savior Christ. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. In Shanghai, let us restore to unity all the faithful who till then have been scattered. And from the streets, let us gather the orphans like the good shepherd who findeth his straying sheep. And show thy loving care to us who have gathered this day to revere thy name. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. An angel was thou on earth, a zealous one, for thy struggles were beyond comprehension, for thou dost pray day and night with strict fasting like the ascetics of old in these latter times. Hence thou dost swiftly fly to Christ on the wings of thy virtues, O blessed John. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Hierarch, from whom the light of Christ shone forth, as was manifestly seen by the faithful, now shine on me whom walking in darkness, and lead me into the pastures of grace and light, for thou hast boldness with the Lord to accomplish great wonders of righteous John. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. The Savior, all pure, ever virgin, made, chose thee from all womankind for his mother. For by a word sent to thee by the angel, Christ God, the word was incarnate within thy womb and springs from thee, O spotless one, as one mighty to conquer the ancient foe. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf on the sick and imprisoned, on the needy and dying, dost thou bestow thy love. And through thy prayers, O Hierarch, the Lord worked wondrous healings to the marvel of all the world. Hence, shed thy mercy and love on me, thy lowly servant, O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. By the prayers of God's mother, the all-holy directress, if thou bring forth thy flock into the lands of freedom, where they could serve the Savior far away from the godless foe, thus like great Moses of old, that led us forth God's people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, like a bright luminary, bringing warmth to the faithful and parts of the earth. So thou, O wondrous hierarch, dost bless the lands of Russia, China, France, and the Netherlands, and last of all, thou hast blessed America, our homeland. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. To the ailing and suffering, to the poor, blind, and naked, as such as should be gifts of grace and consolation and joy of all the sorrow, shine the light of thy countenance on us who him do made and big thy intercessions. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. The foolish, vain world did think thee mad, O God, bear, for they could not see that thou wast guided by the, sp by the Holy Spirit who ruled thy thoughts and actions. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede on our behalf. Our veneration, let us make known to the faithful saints who in the West had shone forth brightly in the undefiled and true Orthodox <coughs> confession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From all thy labors that shall repose in Seattle, like a shining lamp, as light is snuffed out, but now in the kingdom that shineth ever brighter, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
In Thee, O maiden, we find our cause for rejoicing, for Thou hast given birth to Christ, who saved us, and by His great mercy raised up our fallen nature. Most rightly, we confess Thee as our God's birth giver, we who through Thee have been saved, the Virgin most pure, with choirs, the of the angels, Thee to be magnified. O Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf, and true confessing Hierarch was Thou. O wise Father, as Thou dost not yield to threats from a surgeonous church, hence Christ the Lord, our chief shepherd, crown Thee with endless life. <coughs> o Hierarch of Christ, intercede in our behalf. To that young boy who lay in a near fatal coma, did saw appear, blessed John, and just raise him to life. Hence he now singeth our praises with us in gratitude. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thine incorrupt and fragrant and sacred holy relics are a pure fountain and source of miraculous cures and a sure haven and refuge for those in every need. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I pray thee, Theotokos, look upon this servant and grant compunction of me who burdened by sins, and I may take up that sweet yoke of our dear Savior Christ. Give me to call thee blessed, the dog, sir, blessed, and almighty, and of our God, and all of the children. And beyond the realm of grace, the seraph of the youth, all corruption, give us spirit to God, the word, the very thought, all proceed and magnify. Waves of joy surround me, the wretched one is the Lord's great hierarch, blessed John, has drawn nigh to me, bringing with him healings of heart and mind and body. And so I glorify him who came from heaven's heights. Shang highly for joy and chant, praise to God, Brussels be exultant, cry Hosanna to Christ thy Lord. And with hymns and anthems rejoice, O San Francisco, for John the godly pastor is glorified today. Let us bless the merciful man of prayer, blessed John of Shanghai, San Francisco's great joy and boast for our wondrous hierarchy, gained eternal glory, and as zealously entreated Christ God to save our souls. Once our Lord and Master brought back to life Jairus' dead daughter, who was then but twelve years of age, now God's wondrous hierarch, St. John of San Francisco, has saved a child from sure death by his most righteous prayers. Having kept the feast of the righteous John, let us send up glory to our God for his wondrous saint. For though we all go through great trials in this brief life, yet by our hearts' <coughs> blessings we shall attain true life. Encircled by the prophets, the bride of God, that has come in glory to receive the pure pious soul of the Lord's great hierarch, St. John of San Francisco, who met thee in the heavens with the angelic hosts. Moved by God the Spirit, that has set forth St. Nomus, blessed icon on the day of thy blessed repose. Hence the saint received thee together with the virgin into the highest heaven, a wonder worker, John. O all you raised, angelic host with the holy baptist, the apostles, twelve member band, all the saints, all the saints together, as well as God's birth giver, pray make intercession for our deliverance. <laughs> Simon <laughs> Otis was to Vasilia, Kate, Dinamis, Kate, Loxa to Patroski, to you, Kate, to you, Nefmatos, in Kay, Kate, to Seronis, to Leon. Like a spiritual day star in heaven's firmament, thou didst encompass the whole world in distant light and missiles. Hence thy name is glorified throughout the east and west. For thou didst shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved Shepherd. Wherefore cease not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our soul. The prayers of the Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and save us. The Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and save Oh, I can't stop you, you can't stop me, 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 you can't stop